members from Area 51. In this introduction to entrepreneurship course, students are required to carry out their own entrepreneur activity or business for around a month. After discussing and considering various factors, our group Area 51 has decided to operate an online shopping platform that sells women's apparel. The objective of our entrepreneur activity is to allow our customer women to be more confident in themselves by looking prettier and gorgeous after wearing our product. We also get and to get a profit of minimum 300 ringgit from this entrepreneur activity as a beginner in doing business. We came up with Area 51 Cooperation as our business name and is an online shopping platform that sells women apparel with various design and styles. Our products are many modern, elegant and sophisticated styles that will make one look confident and stylish in their own way. They came with various sections that will suit one's taste in any of stations. Our customers can always choose a, to look their best, either when attending a party, a job interview, or just a casual wear. The motto of our business is to solve problems faced by majority of women nowadays. Area 51 Cooperation provides online shopping experience for customers by selling products with affordable price and including delivery service. With our online shopping service, we hope to help our customer by allowing them to do their shopping everywhere and anytime with just a click and without having to worry about any transportation or finding a suitable time to go shopping. However, our entrepreneur activity has a turning point from the third week after we start our business. As we realized that our online shopping platform is not selling well, we came up with another idea by selling socks to the students in University Technology Malaysia and also selling tasty chocolate moist cakes to the recipients of College Kediaman Siswajaya. After this turning point, we carried out our business and have successfully hit our target which is to earn a profit of minimum 300 ringgit. For our business to reach more people, we utilize a few marketing strategies like promoting on social media, word of mouth strategy, and having promotions. For social media marketing, we took a great content in promoting our business on various social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Shopee. Each social media platform use has their own role and target audience. For Facebook, the target audience are most in the age range of 30 to 60 years old we have we have created our we have created our own area 51 facebook page and promote our product by posting pictures and details of our product so that our customers can learn more about our product for instagram it has natural looking media and it is the best way to promote our business among youngsters and basically, the marketing technique that we use for Instagram is same as Facebook. Besides that, Shopee is another marketing platform that we utilize. However, Shopee is slightly different from Facebook and Instagram. Shopee is a popular online business platform where it is much trusted among buyers compared to Facebook and Instagram. Since it is well known now, we took this advantage to reach more target audience in the age range of 17 to 16 years old. Next strategy that we use is word of mouth. For word of mouth marketing is the most important important strategy for our business because it have it help our business to spread more naturally and it is a free form of advertisement. This marketing strategy is used for our alternative business which is selling socks and moist chocolate cake when customers that have bought our product share their experience with their friends this help to trigger others in buying our product this strategy help us to gain more customers by continue spreading our product by interacting with more people we get to spread our business easily uh, the last strategy that we use is promotions for our product to be more sold well, we also did some promotions as well. Know that as customers, the best things that they like is shopping during promotion. Thus, for our business of selling socks, we did a promotion to increase our selling rate. 
We reduce the price of our product when they are sold in box to encourage customers to purchase in box. By having promotions like this, our product successfully attract more customers. As a lot of questions are done, firstly, to this course, we are exposed to various principles and knowledge on business planning, like the NABC model, business model canvas, which is MBC, marketing skill, business pitching, and finance managing. We were asked to produce a magazine after having a chance to interview young successful entrepreneurs. The entrepreneur that we chose to interview was Mr. Kayun Anwar Mohamad Zaki, the director of Ida Technology Sendai Bahad, which is a world-class digital agency based in Kuala Lumpur. From this interview experience, we received a lot of useful tips in running our business from Mr. Kayun, who gladly shared his experience with us. We also had a chance to attend a young entrepreneur leadership program. While this knowledge learned helped us in our business, planning and produce our own business model canvas and pitching. As this activity start, we firstly did some preparation in order to run our business smoothly. We carefully choose our supplier of our product, which is Estella KL, a trusted seller selling women apples in Kuala Lumpur. We trust this supplier as their products are nice, made of good quality and of affordable price. Good product can lead to an increase in our customers' trust in us as an online seller. After selecting our supplier, we market and promote our product to social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram in order to reach more audience. After all the preparations are done, we start operating our business. While constantly promoting our products to reach more audiences, we hope for customers that are interested in our products to contact us through our online shopping platform. After operating our business for about 3 weeks, we realize that it is not operating well as our products are not receiving good response from customers. Thus, we have decided to change our business plan in order to reach our target. From selling women clothing, we changed our business to sell socks to UTM students which is also considered as part of apparels. Our products were ordered from an online shopping platform Shopee and they were delivered within 3 days to KSJ. The next day, we started selling the socks and due to their popularity, they were sold out in 4 days. Those socks were sold for 1 pair for 6 ringgit, 2 pairs for 10 ringgit and 6 pairs for 27 ringgit. And the total profit that we earn from selling out 45 pairs of socks is a total of 114 ringgit. And in order to reach our target, we plan to sell another product simultaneously to double our profit. Our second business plan is selling more chocolate cakes inside hostels of UTM students which is KSJ. We carry out our business by locating our products on each floor on Block A and Block B of KSJ to reach more customers. Each product was sold at 3 ringgit each and the total profit we earn from selling these cakes was a total of 263 ringgit. This amount also includes the loss of our business which is about 30 ringgit and 15 cents where some customers did not pay the right amount of money for the more chocolate cakes. After operating our business for about a month by selling several products, we finally reached our target. By combining the profit earned from selling salt and moisture blanket, we earn a profit of 403 ringgit in total. The capital needed for us to start this business is 435 ringgit and 15 cents as we needed to start in our product first in an adequate amount. This amount also includes the transportation fees on petrol and tool as we needed to travel to our supplier to get, to get our moisture blanket stocks. Fortunately, for the stocks that we sell, they are ordered online and thus, we do not need to invest transportation fees on this. After operating our business for about one month, both our products, socks and most of the blanket are sold out and our overall sale is 838 ringgit and 50 cents. The amount is the gross profit after subtracting the loss of our business. The total profit gain is calculated by subtracting our business capital from the overall sales and it is calculated to be 403 ringgit. This marks the end of our entrepreneurial activity and fortunately, we are able to reach our target that is getting a profit of minimum 300 ringgit. In conclusion, we figured food that we managed to compare our entrepreneurial activity and hit our target profit of minimum 300 ringgit by overcoming some challenges and obstacles this month. We figured food to our lecture. Here, Dr. Akbaria for guiding us throughout this activity. So that's all from us, Area 51. Thank you.